if y'all thought we had heard the last of Will Smith and Chris Rock's crazy Oscar slap, well, think again, because this drama just keeps on giving. Things just took a wild turn because Cat Williams is now exposing Will and Chris for lying because the slap was apparently planned. This is a hot mess, y'all, because does it have anything to do with Will finally winning an Oscar after slapping Chris? So, it has now been an entire year since Will Smith embarrassed himself at the Oscars by slapping Chris Rock on stage. The singular act has caused so much drama that I think I'm not gonna be capping if I say that the Oscars drama kind of rivals his entanglement drama as one of the messiest times in Will's life. So, in case you forgot, Chris Rock was on stage at the Oscars about to present the award to Best Documentary Feature. And then he decided to make a little joke because, well, he's a comedian, right? And that's kind of like his job. So, he made a joke about Jada Pickett Smith's alopecia and compared her to G.I. Jane. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? While Will laughed at the joke at first, Jada was visibly upset. <laughs> so, Will decided to fight for his wife's honor or something like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will eventually apologized publicly saying, Violence in all of its forms is pointless and destructive. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and unexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of my job, but a job about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I am embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. Social media lost its mind after this event and there were mixed feelings about this. First, there were people who praised Will for being a great husband and defending Jada. Then these people said stuff about how it, if it was Tupac, would have he done that for Jada? And on the other hand, there were people who criticized Will for being violent. And they didn't think that he should have slapped Chris over a joke because Chris was just simply doing his job. Then we also had the people who somehow blamed Jada for the slap, even though she didn't ask Will to do so. But this didn't stop her from getting dragged online because people believe that Will slapped Chris because Jada looked uncomfortable with the joke. And so it was all Jada's fault and not Will who did the actual slapping. And then we have one final category, y'all. And that's the set of people who believe that the whole thing was a setup. And that is what's planned between Chris will and the oscar committee it's not that hard to figure out why the oscars would want a major scandal like this because their ratings have been dropping consistently for years now the oscars are one of the major four award events along with the grammys emmys and tony awards so it used to attract a lot of viewership because people were just so invested but in the recent years y'all and especially after covid the viewership has started Started to drop and in the weeks leading up to the Oscars last year there were fears that the event was going to be a flop this was because people were just not talking about it it wasn't trending on social media and there was generally no real buzz about it we all know that a flopped event is going to be embarrassing for the Oscars and this is why it all makes sense that they could pull off a stunt like this. I mean, the Oscars and Will Smith trended for weeks after this event, y'all, and the 2023 Oscar got an increase in their viewership by almost 2 million viewers. So, if they were looking for clout, baby, then their plans worked out. 
because they got a whole lot of that clout okay also people pointed out that will appear to be smiling after slapping chris rock and i don't know about you guys but that doesn't look like the face of a man who just avenged his wife to me Mm -mm. plus what are the odds that will finally won an oscar on the same night that he disgraced himself at the oscars huh the math just ain't math for me y'all and i'm not big on conspiracy theories but i definitely i smell a rat now this drama happened last year and we all had all kind of accepted the fact that we will never know the true story of what really happened but that all kind of changed when cat williams decided to be our hero and tell us the real truth behind the slap and y'all are not gonna believe this it started out y'all by confirming the speculations that the slap was indeed staged by the oscars because they needed to boost their ratings and viewership will smith chris rock you watch that what do you think how do you digest it i am in the production business i understand what is worth doing for ratings i understand what is worth doing when the industry is canceling one black guy i know what happens when they are going to elevate another and i know what happens when they don't care about either he then said something interesting about the movie industry in hollywood i'm saying that everything that happens in a business that's based off of pretend that seems like a setup is honestly this makes a whole lot of sense because both chris and will have been acting for years so it's easy for them to make a fake scenario look very real i mean that's practically what they do for a living right but cat didn't stop there because he went on to address claims that will was having a nervous breakdown and he dismissed those rumors again cat was spitting fast with these statements like as much as we all like to believe that all celebrities are rich powerful and stuff like that the truth is is that they are people who control everything behind the scenes sure big names celebs like will have connections but these elites control the money and as a result of this they control the celebs it goes without saying that people like these are going to be heavily influenced or involved in the academy and as a result it's going to be important to them that the event is as successful as possible these are two giants in our field if you're a black person correct this is two guys too big and too good to be involved in what they're in that would make sense if it's me and michael blackson slapping each other <laughs> not 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 will smith and chris rock he then explained how well the slap was planned out if you were going to slap a comedian he was the number one to slap head of the coons so slappable and if you're going to slap him you just need the greatest guy the bestest guy the one who's shown us him being on his best behavior since the 90s that guy is the one that will have to slap him in order for the type of ratings we need and attention to be on this thing. This sounds weird AF, but hey, that's a reason they call it Holly Weird. Cat wrapped things up by revealing just how much the slap had cost Will. Cha. It was necessary to take him from a $20 million movie Correct. to put him in a position where maybe it can appear he has a nervous breakdown and now is unemployable. Oh, so you see it. And it's not racist. They did it with the white actors as well. They cut down Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt and all of them from $20 million movie people to left them out there to dry and restructured everything. This this is this. This is a lot to unpack. I mean, some of us have had suspicions, but it's a whole different ball game to have the real truth exposed like this. It's just so messy. And at the end of the day, there are some rich and powerful people who are just messing with us all. Someone commented, this makes so much sense why Will wanted people to just move on from this situation. The more people agree and hype Chris Rock up, the more backlash Will gets making him seem unhinged and unworkable. The media is taking out Will and Chris will benefit because he allowed himself to be humiliated so he can reap the rewards, including the comedy special he just did. Whew. Set up vibes.
another person said live tv is so many seconds before actual viewing to make sure they can cut the feed before people at home can see it they wanted that smack to happen and wanted the world to see it and this other person has a theory about this and they commented humiliation ritual maybe chris rock got slapped in front of the world at the oscars then went on to do a netflix special for 20 million <laughs> it's a strategy to this stuff i just gotta wonder what the incentives were for chris and will to agree to this messy drama let me know what you think in the comments and then go ahead to check out the other video because it's even messier than this one y'all i'll see y'all later Man.